Everybody. Everybody want to be a dope boy. Everybody want to be a coke boy. Everybody got a job. Everybody get money. Everybody sit in front of the hood. Everybody real. But they not, boy. Every bitch say that she a bad bitch. Everybody on Instagram looking like they married rich, but they not. Everybody say they started from the bottom, now they hit the top. They go, everybody say they got haters. Everybody got paper. I can't say ain't nobody broke. But who is me to talk about the next nigga out here flex? When I did it before. And who is you to talk about this Will Bang man? But you see a nigga in it with the top down. Well, you sound like a hater on the Front line. I'ma hit the block for you one more time. Everybody got something to say. Everybody wanna hate. If you ask me, every bitch gay. In the club dancing on the friend trying to pretend. When you know you go both ways. Every nigga think that shit cool. Don't you be fooled. You should bring your friend home with you. Tell you eat a pussy, then you can't be mad. Cause you shouldn't have gave me the wrong picture. Everybody wanna be a dope boy. Everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody got a job. Everybody get money. Everybody say they from the hood. Everybody real. But they not, boy. Every bitch say that she a bad bitch. Everybody on Instagram looking like they made rich, but they not. Everybody say they started from the bottom, then they hit the top. Hey everybody, this is your host Gino Boost, and you're listening to episode 2 of season 3 of the Subcon Video Game Hip Hop Podcast. Uh, the track you heard to open the show this week was called Captain Rule. That was a mashup by Shigus, uh, mixing the verses by Yo Gotti from his track Urbody uh, with uh, Crocodile Isle which you should know is by the incomparable David Wise uh, from the Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack. Once again, I'd like to state that video games are the fifth element of hip-hop, so get down to these super hot jams knowing that you're furthering the cause of both hip-hop and video games. At least I like to think so, and that's why I run a podcast about it. Uh, So let's just get into news real quick. I think, and I hope... Uh, since these podcasts are recorded uh, a few weeks early, that everyone is still digesting the news from the latest Nintendo Direct, uh, which will be a couple weeks ago as of the release of this show. But I wanted to spend some time talking about uh, the relaunch of Twilight Princess in HD. had a lot of feelings about the game as I thought about having to play through it another time because I've only beaten it one time at the launch of the Wii. I grabbed the Wii on day one and of course I had to grab my copy of Zelda Twilight Princess as well. When I first played the game, the most recent Zelda I had uh, completed was Majora's Mask and when you compare Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess side by side, you get very different experiences. Um, Majora's Mask is Um, as many people know, is definitely my favorite 3D representation of the Zelda series. Um, There are so many side quests and you come to learn so much about all the people in town that it was just an incredible revelation of what video games could be moving forward. And um, so I was very excited with that in mind of what the next Zelda would be like Um, and the darker atmosphere Uh, conveyed by early trailers of Twilight Princess made me feel like we could get something real uh, deep in the same way that Majora's Mask was uh, where you come to learn the plights of individual characters just in a much larger world thanks to the power of the Wii and GameCube consoles compared to the N64 for Majora's Mask. Um, so I went into Twilight Princess with these preconceived notions that I would get a million side quests and learn everything about every character in the same way I did in Majora's Mask. And it was just was not that type of Zelda game. Um, it was a lot more free roaming, a lot more open, expansive spaces without much more to do than to kill monsters. And at the time, I couldn't uh, appreciate it for what it's worth because uh, looking back on it now, I think the game was really fun. Um, The greatest aspect of the game was absolutely the dungeons. Uh, Every dungeon was pretty unique uh, as far as I can remember. Um, I remember thinking the dungeon with the Yeti couple, that ice dungeon, that that 
was also their home somehow uh, was an incredibly cool idea for a dungeon that you're just going through some giant's average home and also a lot of the, the mini games in Twilight Princess were actually really fun. I remember doing the rafting sequence quite a few times. Uh, same goes for the Kuko parachuting uh, mini game, I guess you would call it. Of course, I spent many hours uh, fishing because that is just a chill way to spend your time. Uh, you can't talk about Twilight Princess without talking about the character Midna, and she is definitely uh, one of my favorite characters in the series. Um, she makes a great impression, especially just through the way she's uh, animated and acts and reacts to the things that Link does. Always has you with a, leaves you with a couple questions, and it makes for a great mysterious character uh, throughout the game. Of course, um, I have a slightly higher affinity for Fee from Skyward Sword, considering her robot-esque nature. And I could never say no to cool robots, especially cool robots that are also swords. But I guess I'll have to wait a couple more years before I could get my fee amiibo. Because uh, that's another thing we got to talk about. Uh, not only is Zelda Twilight Princess being remade in HD, but they have also added amiibo functionality. Um, the amiibo functionality thus far has not been said what that actually entails. Of course, I'm hoping for some side quests, even if there's some boring kill 10 moblins and get some rupees side quests. It would still be pretty fun to have something to do in that really vast world, which is an issue I think wasn't completely fully realized, was simply having things to do out there within that gigantic field. Um, but we won't get into that much more, because we're talking about the amiibo right now. Um, the game, if you pre-order right now via your brick and mortar or online retailer of choice, uh, you could get a Wolf Link amiibo. Uh, a little depressing that they didn't call it Wolf Link plus Midna because Midna is clearly writing Wolf Link on the amiibo and that is 90% of why the amiibo is so cool is because it has that classic image of Midna on top of Wolf Link. Um, saving the day, I suppose, and looking just generally slightly creepy in that wonderful Majora's Mask kind of way. And it looks extra detailed, it looks pretty uh, intense. If you look at the image, you'll see that Wolf Link is uh, standing furiously on an outcrop of rocks, while Midna basically rides him like a horse, as is her ammo. And of course, for an amiibo, it looks extra detailed, the fur on Link, and the detail of things like Minda's hat and her facial expression are at least look really good in these screenshots. I will see how things get printed up, uh, but it seems like most amiibos have lost the derp face of the first generation, so it's not something to worry about in my opinion. But all in all, I have the game pre-ordered, 50% uh, for the amiibo, and but now 50% and rising for actually wanting to replay the game again because it's been almost 10 years. Once the game comes out, it'll be just about 10 years since I played the original, so I think it's a great time to go back and give it another shot, especially because I could record it and make videos of it and bam, content. But also I'm just lo really looking forward to the dungeons again. Uh, I brought up the dungeons earlier and I would have gone more in depth if only I could really remember uh, certain parts of the dungeons. Absolutely the one with that weird riding gear wheel uh, top thing. That dungeon was wonderful. Unfortunately that gear top whatever thing was completely useless outside of that dungeon. Uh, double hook shots. Double hook shots till the day I die. I can't believe I forgot to bring that up. Um, I cannot wait to double hook shot it up again. But it's not all warm and fuzzy after Nintendo Direct, at least not for us here in uh, North America. So each territory I guess, uh, Japan, the Americas, and uh, Europe get slightly different Nintendo Directs. 
uh, what was slightly different this year? Well, over in Japan, they got word that they're gonna get Mother 3 on the Wii U Virtual Console. Pretty sweet, right? And over in uh, the UK, uh, folks were surprised to find that you could download in the UK, of course, Wii U Virtual Console versions of DS titles, Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, and one of my personal favorite handheld Zeldas and games ever, uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks for the DS. Both games I would absolutely have downloaded immediately, not even after the Nintendo Direct. I would have fired up the Wii U and downloaded them at the moment they said they were available. Um, unfortunately, Nintendo of America saw fit to not give us any games, and, you know, that's basically what they do, so I'm not surprised that they didn't give us any sweet uh, virtual console titles. And I do think eventually uh, Nintendo of America will get around to giving us these sweet games, but they'll do it with little fanfare when they're released without any type of announcement or surprise. Nintendo of America, ladies and gentlemen. In honor of the upcoming track uh, by A Genius, uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, the current uh, roster of Nintendo villains holding it down right now. Of course, I think Bowser's stock went up. I mean, Bowser's been looking pretty rad going all Giga Bowser and going Dry Bones up in Mario Kart and just generally being a lot angrier than he used to be. I mean, look at the endings to Mario 3D Land and Mario 3D World. He's getting things done. But Ganon, I think his stock is down. He's not appearing in Zelda games as often. He's become a playable character in some instances. I mean, for the King of Evil, he should be pretty intense, and, but he's been bringing it down a notch to get in on. I mean, it links off playing Mario Kart. What does that say about Ganon? So Ganon is on the downtrend of villains right now. Ridley, Ridley's stable. He has his uh, moment in Smash Bros on his awesome stage. But besides that, he hasn't been up to much, so there's nothing really to comment on. Um, will he make an appearance in Metroid Blurns Ball? Who's to say? Uh, the track we're going to get into for the next break is by A Genius, produced by Ray CK. This is Come F with a Villain. Uh, featuring Aishida. Every birthday I get hammered like Hazel. Swerving with my grace. Crucifix your attitude. Golly on my Hazel. Shot the world like Hazel. Lit like the rays. See a girl like Hey you. She gets the wind. Cause the tits like lower kicks W. I stay with wins like I moved with Vietnamese moves. Uh, she say my name three times. I feed a beat of juice. If that's why she bugging, no, I'm ugly, make it leave. Yeah. Yorkie, Yorkie ass rapper, I'm a barred up nerd. Pull the lady of your dreams in my try for sure. No key maker, I'm the one who opens all the doors. Stepping on this Nimbus, I got Skywalker Force. Lightsaber, your missus with Skywalker Force. My dog stay with the bars like your pesto. All this ice got me with your queen, she told you let it go. And with these bars, I got no respect. My units draw. Up a walls like architects Come and fuck with a villain She's so bad she keeps up with my sentence Come and fuck with a villain Look at your hero, look at us, now who winning? You hear that? That's the money collar bring time You hear that? That's the money collar bring time Whoa. So come and fuck with a villain Come and fuck with a villain Rappers suck, that's just me being generous Known as a villain cause the vernacular venomous I don't say your sentiments, we ain't got no synergy Cone in Jurassic Park, the boy is straight spinach Right with the epitome, the violence is euphoric Gangs is kicking down your door, like Nicholas and Warwick No game, I'm a geek, but I was raised in the street So you want a child, man, you can get brave with the beat I'm just trying to eat that's what you got, homie. Real soccer ride. No need to keep a nine on me. Bad day away from robbing just to get a half a grip. And they call the boy your motto. You ain't trying to battle shit. Got my triads in the whip. And they all down the ride. Horror with the pack of wolves like Hajime Sado. You fucking suicidal if you plan to leave alive. Don't fuck with them, man. Genius and the master 
Feeling samurai. Come and fuck with a villain. She so bad, she keeps up with my sinners. Come and fuck with a villain. Look at your hero, look at us, now who winning? You hear that? That's the money collar brain top. You hear that? That's the money collar brain top. So come and fuck with a villain. On the trip to Costa Rica. Girlfriend hit my beeper Been a while since you could reach her I just borrowed, you can keep her Rappers begging for a feature But bitch, you ain't a sheeter My niggas known as reapers Resume contains no ether School of hard knocks, I'm the teacher Of the year, come let me teach her Stay and fly just like Aaliyah Till I die just like Aaliyah Home and run this, can you keep her? Then sit down in the bleachers Oh, that Betty, you get wild Then collab with John Cena One eye, you can't see us Finger wave, you can't see us Wordplay top tip Community wanna be a valley road Any fucking rapper thinking that he's hard body Tight to get slapped up with the Dende Weezy F Raleigh You can catch the fade with these barber clips Getting long neck from your bird, she an ostrich You got a vegetarian chick chewing my sausages I beat it up, feed the sense of beans, the second round commence Ah, we the idols with the idea Thinking stacks that don't match baby's high head Trying to have me and the wife fuck on money stacks Have a conceal the heat up in a Birkin bag A lot of you niggas ain't even heard of that But the way me and my team gon' eat shit'll make Kirby mad Never gave a F, all you see K's, nigga And ask your mama how a villain dick tastes, nigga Genius. Oh, 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 okay, I'm a king of mercy, yo chick she so thirsty, I'm in that two C limbo with your girl, she trying to turn me, okay, I'm a king of mercy, yo chick she so thirsty, I'm in that two C limbo with your girl, she trying to turn me, okay. okay. Drop it to the floor, make that ass shake. Oh, make the ground move, that's an ass quake. Build a house up on that ass, that's an ass state. Roll, roll, roll my weed on it, that's an ass trait. Stay hey, stay hey, don't we do this every day? Hey, I worked them long nights, long nights to get a payday. Finally got paid, now I need shade and a vacay. And niggas still hating, so much hate, I need a AK. Now we yeah, I'm Perry, yeah, I'm Perry, yeah. yeah. White girls, politic, and that's the Sarah Palin. Getting high, California Kate. I give her that D, cause that's what's born and raised. Okay, okay, I'm a king of mercy. Yo, chick, she so thirsty. I'm in that 2C limbo with your girl, she trying to turn me. Okay, I'm a king of mercy. Yo, chick, she so thirsty. Welcome back. The track you heard to finish the break was another one by Akuma. That was a mashup he calls Sword and Mercery. And if you want to help get more dope music on the podcast, uh, just come straight to the source, me. Um, whenever you hear some great video game hip hop, some great video game raps, beats, instrumentals, all that great stuff, hit me up. You could find me on twitter at genoboost you could message the site at game music for all at gmail.com you can find me on facebook and instagram at retro bits la and all the other spill i'm gonna hit you with at the end of the episode as always uh, but make sure you seek me out because i want to hear all the hip-hop you got that's influenced by video games all the rap you got that's about uh, Nintendo and Sega and Sony and Square, Capcom, Konami, all that stuff. Basically, if you hear about some video game rap and hip hop, you come see me. I also have to state that you gotta subscribe to myself on YouTube. On YouTube, you could find uh, video versions of all the podcasts for those of you who just want to fire up YouTube and give it a listen rather than having to download an mp3 or subscribe on some sort of rss feed uh, you can just head right over to youtube google subcon podcast or game music for all and you will find our channel or just go there directly at youtube.com slash game music for all i also hope to soon start posting all of my video game music reviews 
as videos up on YouTube so you don't have to read a bunch of words on the site as so many of you are not want to do but hopefully in a video series I could get a little more in depth and a little more off the cuff about what I think of a lot of this awesome music I've been covering lately so make sure you're subscribing to us uh, to catch all kinds of great video game music and retro gaming content now it's about time to close up shop on another episode so let's dig into the awesome background music you heard today uh, to kick things off we heard a pair of a dope Zelda based jams. The first one is known as Overworld Beat by Utago, um, another great track you can find on SoundCloud. Uh, Hip Cordian by Am I Evil, that one's via OC Remix and is based on music from Zelda 2. And since it's from OC Remix, you know that's a free download. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to all of the episode's music. Uh, those Zelda jams were followed up by a sweet earthbound beat called One for Ness. That was another dope instrumental by PK Mao. Uh, after that, we heard uh, one of my favorites, another classic from my recovered hard drive. This is Built to Destroy by Robotobots. And I love the song, and I definitely love the name of this group. To close out the episode, we heard music by DJ Zionide. This track was called The Ones Who Are Dead, and it's from the High Score mixtape. After that, we heard some funky jazz rhythms uh, by Blue Lily in a track he calls Rainfall Sky. And now we're riding that wave of chill rhythms into Evening Primrose, a track from Pastoral 2 by the group Brother Android. And to close out the show, we also have some of the lovely music from the Kirby Superstar series. We're going to hear uh, Jun Ishikawa's composition, uh, Spring Breeze Ending, from this Kirby Superstar game. Uh, but before that, we're going to hear some other Kirby tunes. This is the much more intense uh, music, Meta Knight's Revenge. Uh, mashed up with some music by Busta Rhymes. This is Meta Busta's Revenge by Dat Nigga Over There. And it combines some fast VGM with some very fast hip hop. And it combines into one intense track that you can't turn away from. And all this Kirby talk definitely has me thinking about a Kirby themed episode in the future. So definitely stay tuned for that possibility. Uh, thanks for listening to another episode of the Subcon Podcast, and you will hear more video game hip hop next week. I'm a nuisance, I go stupid, I go dumb like the three stooges I don't eat sushi, I'm that shit, no, I'm pollution, no substitution Got a bitch that play air movies in my jacuzzi, pussy juice And I never give a fuck about a hater, got running on my radar Dressed like a skater, got a big house, came with an elevator You niggas ain't eating, fuck it, tell a waiter All they say is true, and I say, okay You want that bullshit, then I'm like, oh, late I don't care what you say, so don't even speak Your girlfriend a freak like Cirque du Soleil That's word to my flag, and my flag red I'm out of my head, bitch, I'm out of my mind From the bottom of my climb, you ain't hotter than mine No doubt on my time, and I'm not even trying What's poppin' slime? Nothing vibe, lift they trippin', fuck them vibe Down. I'm so young, money. If you got eyes, look at me now, bitch. Look at me now. 
Look at me now, how? I'm getting paper. Look at me now, how? Look at me now. Subcon Podcast. Please support the show by subscribing to me at patreon.com slash genoboost. Find song links and show notes at gamewithmusicforall.com slash subcon. Follow me on Twitter at genoboost and Instagram at retrobitsla. And of course, you can find the latest video game based albums at gamemusicforall.com. You're now leaving Subcon. <laughs>